I think seeing a marriage counselor before marriage is not important, it's not necessary. Now, this is the reason why. We forget the fact that we're different human beings. Mm. That's number one. Okay. Somebody will be married for a year and the person they would encounter, right, will show them Pepe that you that have been married for 30 years, you will never experience in your life. Reason is because there are different characters and different characteristics. Okay. Now, how do you try to tell someone to fix their marriage or tell them how to guide them into going into marriage? Most of the time, it's the experience that we have. Oh, me kunu me sorry ahumachi na ma yeti amana so akwejumi. It was so me aweni sorry ahumachi yeti mano. Ebi ano ano ni kunu no ano ti ahumachi onya fufu ahumachi obedi obedi. So somebody like that, if they use the same theory to try and fix their marriage, they will mess their marriage up. Because okay. the truth of the matter is, as much as Senna, you are a man, he's a man, you're two different people. You might like Akpla, uh, he might like Fufu. So if you're telling me to use the same guidelines for, for, for yours, it doesn't make sense. Now you, the marriage counselor, what experience do you have about marriage? You can't tell me your experience is dealing with one character in this world. There are people who are mentally sick. There are people who are okay. We have different characters. So if you're married to an introvert who is calm and they've given you peace at home, you can't tell me to use the same theory for somebody that when you tell her that in a house, you'll say, Hona mi fibi. Aisha men koho, or si mi fi ho nebe. And then you tell Karo, Karo Tina, say, no, it's Are you going to use the method that you deal with Karo? Same method for me. It can't be. Because the counselors tell you what they think they know. And most of the time, the experience that he use is most of the experiences that they have had in their marriages that has worked for them. What is the guarantee that the same theory is going to work for you? Okay. Now, secondly, you come and sit in front of a counselor. Like she was saying, you get to know so much about the person you're getting, getting married to. I go to see a counselor. Mm -hmm. Counselor sits with me alone and asks me, you know, now that you're going to get married, you're going to start having kids. Have you had abortions, you know, when you were young, Senna? Would I look into the counselor's face and say yes? If I'm, a, I'm an abuser and I know that I beat my women, but I know I want to marry Carol, I know that anything, I want to settle with this girl. Let me hide that side of me and settle with her. You think I'm going to tell the counselor that in my past relationships, all the women that I dated, I beat them up. You can never get to know somebody completely till you live with them. Even you yourself, you don't know yourself completely. Because you could come here in the morning and decide that I want to have tea. But then you decide, nah, let me change my mind. So even you yourself, you don't even know yourself better. Until you live with them. So what is the counselor going to tell me to fix my marriage? What, what are you going to tell me? Because you're not going to come live with me. The person I'm get, getting married to is not you. But, the person might not be as calm as you are, Sena. But Aisha, you're also forgetting the fact that one of the things you gain over time. Yes. When you do something constantly. Yes. Is experience. So now this In is... dealing with marriages and having to constantly sit in with people who are sharing their experience with you. That can be a guide to you. It's not saying you should follow it. It's, it's exactly what will work out for you. But can that not guide Senna, you? Senna, if I come to you and I'm telling you, like, you you are depressed. Mm. And I'm trying to talk you out of it. Or maybe you're suicidal. Mm. And I'm trying to talk you out of, of suicide. Mm. And I tell you, oh, I used to have a friend who tried to kill herself. And then this is the method she used to survive. It won't make sense to you till I tell you that, you know, what you're going to have been through it. I was this close to killing myself, but I didn't do it. Okay. The fact that you know somebody personally who had gone through the same situation, it makes it easier for you to understand it better than the person telling you somebody else's story. So my question is, until a married counselor has married about 10 people and they've, they've actually tried different characteristics, the narcissist, the introvert, the extrovert, the, one, the, the sexually highly libido ones and all that until you've married about 10 different characters and you've realized that there are different characters in this world you can't tell me how to deal with my my marriage because out of the 10 characters i will get one character out of the 10 that will suit the person that i'm going to get married to do you understand my point but you can't use just one person that you're married to how many people are in the world there are people who will kill people and they will justify the reason why they did it. It's because their brain is wired to understand it like that.
There are people who can't kill a fly. They can't kill um, insects. So until you try all these different characters and you make me understand that, oh, I'm telling you about a narcissist. Mm. Like the man I'm going to marry, the red flags I'm seeing, I think he'll be a narcissist. Oh, I've married a narcissist before. Now this is how I dealt with the narcissist. Okay, I'm getting married to an introvert. It's like, whatever I do to this chick, she doesn't move, she just sits at one place. Oh, I've been married to an introvert before. She also used to sit at one place, do nothing. This is how I dealt with it. Until you give me those experiences. You do, I don't know the experience that you have. Because I will be married for a year with somebody who is mentally sick. And the pepper I will go to again. So now you could be married for 50 years. But because the person you are married to don't like trouble, they don't like drama, you think that that way is how to fix somebody else's marriage. But you're lying. Married then. Then you can counsel me. So the best counselor to you is that someone who has, been, who has been through your experience. Yes, if you have been through my experience, you can tell me about the experience. But if you haven't been through it, you can't use yours to come and tell me how to go about it. Because hmm. the person I'm getting married to is not the person you're living with too. Hmm. So how do I sort it out like that? Hmm. Like I said, you wake up in the morning, you want tea every morning with graphic, sit by the dining table, you want to read your graphic and have tea, you know, feel bougie. Maybe Beric wants... Are you a mumoko person from no didi? So imagine that I'm not with you anymore. And I'm married to Beric now. But because I used to do tea for you every morning, my counselor says, Oh, yeah, tea debi ama wukru. Inti me sorano fa Beric. But you may try with tea, no. I will mess my marriage up. Because Beric doesn't like tea. He wants are you a mumoko in the morning. So the methods are different because we are different characters and different characteristics. That's all I have to say. Mm. Interesting take by Aisha. Uh, a lot of people agree with you. Uh, Nancy. Thanks. Uh